Hey Andy, um, CT1, latest technology in sealing and bonding, replaces numerous products in one, including silicones, mastics, acrylics, decorators cork, um, all in one tube, and it does more. Okay. First of all, once you've opened the product um, and you've got some left in the cartridge, all you've got to do is leave a little blob hanging out the top of the nozzle like so, and that's good for four, and four months, so you don't get any wastage whatsoever. You can use... So like others, it's not going to go off in here? No. And then you've got to start pulling it through with an old nail or something? That's right. Just acts like a cork in a wine bottle, pop it off, and away you go. So when you buy a 290ml cartridge, you get to use a full 290ml yeah. cartridge. So you can use CT1 overhead. Traditional products will slump and sag. Mm -hmm. Okay. With CT1, this doesn't happen. You can actually stack the product to a depth of about 50ml. No slumpage whatsoever. Can I do that over your head? Watch the, watch the hair, it's expensive this. <laughs> okay, so no slumpage whatsoever. Um, what's unique about the product? It's a unique hybrid polymer that doesn't contain any solvents. Often mimic, mimicked, but never equaled. Mm -hmm. um, so as you can see or smell, there's no harmful solvents no. in the product. So it's guaranteed never to shrink or crack. With that as well, Andy, you can actually spread the products. You can actually use it as a filler. And that could be painted over in about one hour with most traditional paints. Okay, so it's used as the ultimate filler as well. So you've got almost a silicon, a filler. Yep, an adhesive. An adhesive and a cork, all of which can be, and the great thing with that, yep. you haven't got to start rubbing that down, have you? No, get it's a nice, like, nice, yeah, nice finish. finish on it. And you've got some CT1 on your fingers there. Very easy to remove from the skin. Okay, we've done a lot of research into snagging, and the reason why snagging occurs most of the time is something hasn't bonded properly, or something's leaking. Um, so we say use a good quality product to begin with in the first place and that will eliminate the snagging. Okay. And also, as a builder, we hate snagging. Exactly. So if we can have one tube exactly. that does it all. Job done. Yeah. Okay. Um, some um, sealant manufacturers claim their product can be used on damp surfaces and wet surfaces, but when you actually come to use them, it's not the case. Here, we have a bit of a damp surface here, Andy. Would you agree? Yeah, just a bit. Okay. Yep. Could you hold it for me, please? Okay. So, CT1 can be used underwater, not a problem, as you can see. And you can actually mould that underwater as well. So if you've got a leaking trap under a sink, for example, you can spread that below and above the water line. Okay. And how long's the cure time on that? It, okay, a full chemical cure is 24 hours, um, but um, the product's moisture curing, so wet conditions, it will speed up the curing process, okay? But it will seal instantly. So as you can see, um, it's actually dispersed the water. I can put a cut in there. Job done, sealed, okay? So the other problematic application you have is leaking gutters, okay? Mm -hmm. Nightmare application. And let me create a leaking gutter for you. There's your problem. There's your solution. Job done. Isn't that amazing? Okay. Good bit of kit. So that's the sealing side, Andy. What's equally impressive is the bonding side. And we'll come on to the bonding a little bit more later on because we've got some challenges for you. Um, but it will bond various materials, wood, polystyrene. Again, because of um, the no solvent content, doesn't attack sensitive material like your um, polystyrene. So your Celotec boards, absolutely fine. Glass. There's water in there. There's water well. in there, so yeah. mold resistant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mirrors, again, because there's no isocyanate that's in the product, doesn't attack the backing of the mirror. Tiles, um, marble, copper, lead, plastics, polycarbonate sheeting, metals, and this is on a small surface area as you can see. Just feel the, the mass. So it's a concrete block, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a concrete yeah. block. So what's that? 20 kilos, roughly? I would say, yeah, 15 yeah. to 20 kilos. So yeah. and that's not very strong in terms of bonding. And that's not going anywhere. No. Okay. So that's the bonding side. Um, I come on to the flexibility as well, because the product's very flexible, super flexible. Um, very strong in terms of flexibility. And there's all your different colours. We have uh, um, 10 colours now in the range. Um, the new one is the Anthracite, which we just launched as of last week. Here we have Pyrex glass dish onto a piece of plywood. Um, CT1 is very strong in terms of bonding. Um, the actual bonding strength is 265 newtons 
per centimetre squared, which basically means it's the same as an aluminium weld. Okay, mm -hmm. very, very strong in terms of bonding. We've got a nice bead around the dish here, one we prepared earlier, and inside is a 50 pound nut. That's the bit that got my attention, the pinky <laughs> in there, yeah. Of course, absolutely. So I hope you had your Weetabix today. Um, so the challenge is for you to prise this dish away from the plywood to retrieve the 50 pound note. So you're saying if I can get that off there, that's mine. That's yours. Job done. Right. This is absolutely stuck on and Pretty there's much. no way in a month of Sundays that is coming off. So if you think you can get this off here, any bricky scaffolders, you know, the ones that think you're a bit tough as nails out there, come and have a go. If you catch the CT1 van, they're going to be going around the country. Come and have a bash on this. I've given it a go and it isn't moving. But if you think you can, there's 50 quid. So that's the glass onto the plywood. Um, the other um, application we have is timber to timber. Okay, four by two by four by two. Um, and this time, Andy, you can prize these two pieces of material together. Well, there's another there's one There's a hundred quid in it for you. A couple of bits of three by two stuck together. All I've got to do is separate them. So I'm going to need a couple of lads on the end of this and I'm going to lift this. And that hundred quid means we've got a decent bit of breakfast. Sam? So all I've got to do is lift this off. Just lift it up, Andy, and it's all yours. No breakfast today. Better luck next time. That is impressive. It's not even given, is it? No.